Very nice. Um, how about thinking about then going to 32nd notes um, from the 16th notes? You remember the 16th notes you just played? Double speed. So whatever you did, it was well done, but it wasn't probably double speed. Go back no. now, um, your 16th again, that you could recall you were doing. So, so actually, if we think about um, going into the triple speed zone, or actually it's quadruple speed, whatever, from we started, then um, we would have a little bit of a slower quarter note to start with. Right. This is why I started doing the quarters and the eighths. Right, right, right. That relationship. Right, but, right. but the only thing that happened yeah. when you initially did everything was when you got yeah. to the 32nd, it was below a 32nd. That's all. Yes, that. yes, yeah. yes. And anyway, as it played out, I realized that's your peak speed, so then you have to work back by half. Yeah. be the way to go and then you can maybe easy more easily half speed from 16th to 8th because all you want yeah. is really 8th 16th 32nd at this point you don't need to go all the way back to quarter so that's good so that's a good methodology i think um because sometimes it's hard for students to figure out what eighth notes are in relation to 30 seconds it's easier to go from 16th to 32nd in their mind yeah i don't even think you need to see your hand going like with the forearm up and down anymore. It's just your fingers snapping with arm weight across everything, like one big plane, you know. And then. It's really finger generated in a sense, but the arm weight is either lifted up. Yeah. For that speed, you have no time to go. No. shows a lot of growth. I never heard you do quite that speed. So today was a rite of passage. <laughs>